YouTubers, no gas Nico here. Uh, update on my 2017 battery failure with my Nissan Leaf. It's a 2017, it's got 30 kilowatt. I bought the car purposely to get a battery upgrade. Now, if you haven't seen my first video where I actually caused the battery failure, there's a link in the description. Go ahead, check that video out first. Come back, watch this video. This is kind of an update. So anyway, I got this comment on my first video from Alberto. He said that maybe I should try discharging my battery fully and then allowing it to slow charge all the way back up and it might help my cells balance out. Great idea. I thought, perfect. I'm trying to limp along till I lose my fourth segment and qualify for warranty replacement. Right now, I'm not there. Uh, so until then, I'm trying to make this car a little more usable and where it's not going to strand people on the side of the road. Uh, for me, I, I got lead spike, clear the codes and get the car running. You see that in the video that I made, my previous video. So I went ahead and did that. On Monday, I went to work, picked up my work truck. Uh, we have free charging at work. So I went ahead, but I plugged it into a 110 and I discharged just so bad. You can see me right here that I got limited power when I was just trying to move it to the spot to charge it. So, ran the battery as far as I could without actually having to push the car. So I didn't want to do that. I was alone. These cars are heavy. I'm not going to do that. I'm old. Forget it. It's out of the question. So anyway, it's as low as I was going to run the battery. So, I plugged it into 110. I didn't pick the car up until Thursday night. Uh, Sorry, Wednesday night. It's Thursday right now. So I didn't pick up the car till Wednesday night. So I sat there for two full nights on a level one charger. Didn't need that long, but I had a work truck at home. I didn't need the car, so it sat on a charger. So anyway, I picked the car up, watching Leaf Spy as I'm running around, and uh, I can see my cell difference, the voltage differences is, uh, it was the same, like I, I didn't just do this exercise. So a little disappointed. Uh, so as I saw that, I thought, well, okay, I'm gonna run. I saw my one battery power bar, or not, not battery, power bar lost one ring. And actually I'm looking at my dash, I just lost one ring now on the highway. So I'm, I'm starting to get despaired. I'm starting to get an issue now. It just came back as I'm regening because I'm slowing down. So yeah, I'm having issues driving it right now. So anyway, so since I saw the power bar starting to drop off, the little circles on the dash where it says power, I saw them dropping off. I thought, well, I'm gonna try to see if I can accelerate a little harder and cause an issue. So I did, I accelerated a little harder and uh, I caused the car to fail again. And I was on the side of the road so I get leaf spy, clear the codes, I got home. Now I could have drove it home without forcing the failure, but I wanted to test and see if this total discharge and slow recharge was gonna give me any benefit. It did not. Thank you for the comment. I really appreciate it. I love trying this idea to see if it would work. I think my cells are in such a poor state that it didn't help me. Now, maybe it'll help you if you have a electric vehicle that has this similar situation. Give this a try. If it works, report back, put it in the comments. Let us know. Uh, have you ever done this and it's worked positively for you? Let us know. Uh, just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. It's a great idea. In theory, it should work. But I think, you know, it's just like any other battery. Once a cell gets below a certain point, they're done. You can't, you can't force them to come back. So and I think I'm at that point. I'm at the point of no return. Now I'm trying to limp this car along till I get the fourth segment gone so I can qualify for a warranty replacement. I'm at 67.37% state of health. I need to get down to 66.25. Got a little ways to go. Um, I'm afraid of taking it in because of the bad cells because I'm afraid that they're just gonna replace the modules and it'll boost my state of health up and then I'm going to miss it because I'm at almost 78,000 miles. I gotta get it before 100,000 miles. So I'm kind of in this little spot. So, if you guys got any other suggestions to kind of help 
my situation, anything you've done that can help. Only thing I can think about doing right now is slow charging, uh, or maybe not, maybe fast charging because it seems to be cold weather related too. When it's really cold outside, like below 20 degrees, the problem seems to be exasperated. So I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm learning more and more about this issue. So if you have experience, please put it in the comments. Um, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing updates, let you know how it's going. But as of right now, thanks for the comment. Thanks for the suggestion. I tried it, it didn't work for me. So hopefully some of the viewers that watch this, it'll work for you and uh, you can get some success. So anyway, that's it for now. Go ahead and like this, subscribe. I'm gonna keep doing updates. Um, I also got some more videos coming out. I got some products that I've, I've recently bought, trying out my house, some smart home stuff. I got some gadgets coming. I got some. I got Amazon stopping at my house daily. So I'm gonna be doing some reviews and some stuff here uh, shortly. So I'm gonna be dropping a lot of videos uh, in the coming weeks. I'd like to get them out before the holidays because uh, some of these things might be good holiday gift ideas. So anyway, that's, uh, that's all for now. Like, share, subscribe, leave your comments. I like hearing from you and I will report back. And if you have a great suggestion like this one, I'm gonna give it a shot and report back, let you know how it went. All right, thanks for watching. God bless. Check this out. Right now I'm at 139 millivolt difference. I'm doing 40 miles an hour, so I'm gonna accelerate. Not even flooring it. I didn't notice the millivolts changing drastically. I'm gonna get up to 70. Now I didn't floor it. Let off, I'm regening, and you can see it's gonna go back up. This time I'm gonna floor it. We am back down to 40 miles again. Do 35 and I'm gonna floor it. When I have full power, this is where it gets bad. 524, I lost a circle. I just caused the faults and look at that. Now it says battery is low. My battery level dropped. Holy smokes. 16% battery. I was at like 39. Wow. I did not expect that. See if I can coast into my driveway. Okay. There you have it. This is not good. Can't even floor this car for very long. So uh, my battery dropped like 10 15 percent as soon as that issue hit um i haven't checked my state of health if that changed uh usually doesn't change during the day but uh this is scary um it's gonna leave people stranded uh, i know what to do but i can't let anybody else in my family drive this car because uh, they're gonna be stranded they're gonna have to call a tow truck so or i'm gonna have to come out from you know, a lot of times i work out of town and so that's not even possible so we're gonna be tow bills and all this other stuff so Anyway, I'm um, not happy about this. It's a known issue with these 30 kilowatt batteries. I bought this car for the issue so I can get a new warranty replacement. I might take this in. Uh, they might replace the battery under warranty. Problem is, there's a lead time. There's like a six to nine month lead time on these batteries. So even if I take it in, I'm going to have to drive this car for six or nine months because they can't get a battery fast enough. So, anyway, that's it. Um, that's all I got for now. I'm going to go clear these codes. Luckily, I was able to coast to about 20 feet from my driveway, so I was able to push the car. My driveway is kind of on a downhill, so I pushed it into the driveway and let it coast to the garage. So I'm going to clear these codes, charge it up, because I have to go pick up my son from school in about an hour and a half. So I need to recharge this car so I can make the trip. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for updates. Keeping you posted. Thanks.